City Farmer TV, June 29th, summer of 2009. We are here in the garlic bed taking a look at the garlic. And if you notice, the garlic right now is actually starting to put off this little tiny flower shoot. And this flower shoot is called the garlic scape. And at this time of the year, it's very important to take this garlic scape and just go. And by doing that, the energy that the plant would have put going into the garlic um, actually would have gone into this flower head. And what you want to do to grow a big garlic bulb is to remove the head so all the energy goes back into the garlic bulb so that you'll have really great garlic. So the question then lies, well, what do you do with all of these garlic scapes? So what do you do with those scapes? Our head gardener Sharon told me about this really great recipe and we're going to share it with you right now and it's really, really simple. First of all, you take your garlic scapes right out of the garden and you want to chop them up a little smaller and uh, just big enough so that you could actually throw them into the blender. Into the blender they go, nice and full. Now they're kind of a little harder, a little stockier. Um, so it's going to take a little bit of blending. but. What I did was take some olive oil, probably a good like half a cup to start, and um, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. What we're doing here is making some scape pesto. So taking that, put it all in the blender. So your scapes, olive oil, and cheese, and so you let that blend in the blender for probably a good two, three, four minutes. And um, it's going to be harder to blend. Add a little bit more of olive oil, maybe a little bit of water. And um, you probably want to put a touch of salt in it just to kind of bring out the flavor. I had picked up some really great um, salt from the farmer's market that's actually a smoked salt. So salts are kind of a really neat thing that you can kind of use to sort of spice it up a little bit. But pretty much these four ingredients and you've got your garlic scape pesto. And it's a really lovely bright green um, paste that you can enjoy on garlic bread, put on pasta. Um, I tossed a little bit in some lovely quinoa grains. It's all a matter of what you want to do with it. Really good, lovely June snack.